last time on Earthbound, the gang fought their way deep into the underground, found the Lumine Wall, made their way through a bunch of dinosaurs, and then found the final sanctuary location, at which point Plump entered his own world of Magicant. And thus, here we are. The strange world of Magicant, where it seems like everything is alive. Plump! Did you learn how to tell what time I'm indicating? Um, well, it's either 12, like 12, or what, 3, something? I don't know. You kicked my butt badly. I won't forget. This is how I feel on the inside because of you. What are you doing here? You destroyed my pride. Arrgh. It's all I had. Now it's gone. What is this place? Hey, it's Magic Ant. Welcome to Magic Ant. It's me. I'm you when you were younger. You want to play ball? Hmm, do you prefer reading comics or playing games? What? I'm busy. You're busy. We're busy. Thank you for remembering me. Even if you did make me out of yellow snow. I'd like... I'd like you to take your time. Because this country will disappear when you wake up. That sounds horrible. Peace! We haven't played together lately. Hey, monkey. Kya kya! Fresh! Hey, it's Picky. Plump! Pokey took my snack. I know, he's a jerk. Don't turn out like your brother. Yeah, long time no see, Plump. He's the one who offered me cigarettes the first time in the clubhouse. What a guy. Wow, Plump, let's play. La la la. My name's Nico. It's run and sing and dance. What a lovely world. Oh, he's here? We had fun one snowy day. I melted, but I'm still real in your memory. It's you. Plump, you're so lucky. I envy you. I have no luck. But Plump? Well, okay. Let's be friends forever, alright? I don't know, Pokey. You've been a pretty big jerk, if my memory serves me correctly. What's in here? A side caramel, which I don't think I'm going to be taking. Life noodles, horn of life... You know what? I guess I could drop this really expensive diamond band. Bye bye. I'll take that. I might need it, who knows. I know the name of the girl you used to like. You shush your mouth. What are you, the devil or something? Please rest. The dream you'll have here is a dream within a dream. Your heart knows things you aren't aware of. Might as well sleep. See what it's like to dream within a dream. How do we know that this whole life hasn't just been a dream within a dream, within a dream, a dream? I dream a dream. I feel like I'm... I feel like I forgot something on the first island. But I'm not gonna turn back just yet. If ever. Plump! I still feel pain where you wounded me. I'm sorry. It happens. Oh, this is Buzz Buzz's tombstone. He appeared earlier in the game and gave up the ghost before he achieved his goal. He may not have achieved his goal, but he helped press us on. And we're carrying on his dreams. Flying Man. I am your courage. I'll follow you here in Magicant. My name? Let's just say Flying Man. So awesome, the Flying Man joins us. So, do you want to talk to me? No, I'm sorry, but there's really not much to say. Yeah, the flying men, once one of them joins you, they don't have much to say. Let's see... What's this place, old man? The Sea of Eden is filled with ultimate intelligence. You can't go there unless you're truly ready. It's a place where you can touch the truth of the universe. Going there may bring sorrow. Honestly, I don't want to go there just yet. I want to see what I forgot on the first island of Magic Ant back here. I, I think that there might have been a few things that I missed. What a strange land. I think all of this is within me. 
I'm creating this, right? Weird. Maybe I didn't miss anything. There's my family. Did I go in here? It's the shop. Hi! This shop specializes in puddings and pendants. Yeah, sure, what do you got? An earth pendant? Wow. And magic pudding. Okay. I believe that I should probably buy an earth pendant. Just saying, since it's being sold here, um, I'm about to drop a couple life noodles, get rid of that. Not like I can revive myself if I need it. Um, hmm. Let's see, what else can I get rid of? I could go give some stuff to my sister. In fact, let's do that. Maybe I shouldn't have dropped that cup of life noodles, but oh well. We can buy more if needed. Hey sis, the Sea of Eden is at the end of Magic Cant. Other people can't get close to it. It's a real strange place. Mm, let's store some stuff. Okay, first up, how about the Franklin badge, because it's completely worthless it seems like. The locker is full, what? Okay, we'll take the skip sandwich. I did not know that her locker could get full, but I guess that makes sense. Um, the cold remedy... Yeah. Let's drop that. Actually, on the skip sandwich, we'll use it. We'll kind of sprint our way out of here. Okay, use the cold remedy. Are you sure you don't want to go with me, sis? kick some butt there. Okay, take the bottle of DX water. I don't want to use that. We'll save that for whenever we have Snark on our team. The Horn of Life, take that. And I think that's it. Yeah. Yeehaw! Only I could move this fast all the time. You're the ATM, right? Yes. Okay. 73,000... Let's go ahead and withdraw 5,000. I probably will be dying here and losing some of this money, but whatever. The only thing I really need to spend money on at this point is more multiple bottle rockets. Okay. Earth Pendant? Yes. Yes. Not bad. Defense gain? No, don't buy my rabbit's foot. Hmm. And I'll stock up on magic put in here, because that will replenish our side points, I believe. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Nope. Actually, I... Hang on. <sighs> no. I went to... Let's see, how much does this heal? 40 side points? Okay. We'll eat the caramel, because it's delicious and chewy, and there's no point in throwing it on the ground. There we go. Mmm, delicious magic pudding. It's tapioca, actually. My favorite. Little fish eggs. How can you... Who could hate tapioca? Okay. Just think of all the life in your mouth that you're destroying whenever you eat that delicious pudding. Mmm. The souls of the fish. Yum. Let's do this, flying man. The Sea of Eden. Tricky. The Loaded Dice. Oh, the Carefree Bomb. Ooh, good job, Flying Man. Aww. The Flying Men can die just like a teddy bear. So I'm gonna try not to lose them, but you never know. Please don't blow up either whenever you die. They might. Good. It was not an armed bomb, thankfully. 25,000 experience, wow. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. I found my cap that you lost. I'm so stupid sometimes. There's lots of junk in my backpack at a time like this. So why don't I get rid of something I can't use? Okay. Me and my hoarding problems. Even I know that it's a problem. 
but too damn bad. No, I don't care about that. Um, yeah, let's use. Let's eat the pudding. Hey, me! There's that cap that I lost. We got the baseball cap. Is it good though? Where does it go? No. It's got to be good for something, right? Memories, maybe? Baseball cap. Has the logo of your favorite baseball team. And what's in here? A bag of Dragonite. I don't know if this cap does anything. I really don't think that it does. Can I drop it? Yes. Sorry, me, but I'm getting rid of the hat again. You'll have to just find it. Again. <laughs> Should never have given it back to me. More loaded dice. Oh, come on. These guys are just way too quick. I'm guessing these things are gonna shock the hell out of me. It sends a greeting by winking at us. Thankfully, good, it missed. Nice. You can always count on the flying man. 27,000 experience. Not bad. And what are you? A goddess band. So much flippin' shit in this game. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna drop the rabbit's foot. Might have been a bad idea, but I need to be able to compare my current band. What does the goddess band do? Increases defense, helps keep you from being hypnotized, and increases our luck. Nice. Okay, let's drop... The Cherub's Band. Because I'm sure I'm going to be getting more items before too much longer. There are a lot of enemies over there. The game even starts to slow down <laughs> whenever there's too many enemies, if you never noticed. Okay, we have to kill this thing quick. <sighs> now you're just getting ridiculous. Good lord. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. So otherwise these things are gonna end up killing the flying man that's with me. There he goes. The flying man is no more. You dirty loaded dice. Those are no fun at all. You ruin everything. Throw in your dirty damn bombs. I need Paige and Azra and Snark here. It's difficult to do, to do this alone. 40,000 experience, and they're missing out on all of this. Pump's gonna leave them behind even more. Okay. Max ourselves out. I might die and have to do all this again a couple times. This place is hard. This place really wears you down. The Electro Swoosh. Before the music can even get good, dang it. I was digging that baseline. What are you, another monster? Yes. Another loaded dice that's gonna call for more help, and I'm, I can't run away. That's all it can do, isn't it? Good lord. Apparently a lot of... <sighs> Quit missing, you worthless person! Well, this is it, folks. We're gonna die. And I have to walk all the way back through this. Yep. Can I run away by chance? No. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah. Well, you can expect to see that happen a lot more. Probably two or three more times. And yes, we will continue. 
summon all the courage that we've got, which unfortunately might not be enough. Okay. I'm gonna withdraw a little bit of money so I can buy some more pudding. What am I down? I'm just down one, right? Yeah. I want to go through there completely loaded up and stocked. That's it. You creepy little shop person, you. He's got that shop dealer look to him. Like he's out for himself there. Not sure if you can trust him or not. Is he gonna rip you off or give you a good deal? I need to actually rest up to him. Considering the fact all my psi points are gone. How much do you charge again? Apparently nothing, that's right. We curl up in a clump of grass in the corner. And gently doze off to sleep. Why are you guys forming a conga line anyways? Oh no. It's the first flying man. Plump's courage is resting here. He fought well and died. However, if you stand up and do it again, I'll be your courage. I'll remain unless you lose your courage. Just call me Flying Man 2. Once you know that that saying, once you get knocked down, you gotta stand back up. Apparently we can only stand up a few more times though. Three more after this. And then we'll have to go without courage. Um, I don't... This is the right way, right? Hey, me, did you find that baseball cap I left for you? Dropped it right at your feet. Plump's just not very accurate, is what the problem is. It honestly kind of disappoints me that Plump misses so much. save yourself a whole lot of trouble if you just smash him. Smash him into bits. We might be level 70 by the time we get out of here. Okay, flying man. We can do this together, me and you. What are you? A magicant bat inside. I don't know what to drop. Okay, let's do this fight first. I'll probably have to... A French kiss of death? You dirty thing. You, you better not use your tongue. Yes. As a kid, I don't think I actually understood what French kiss was. Whenever this enemy showed up. I honestly assumed that it was just a French. For some reason. I had a French kiss of death here. Oh, the joys of being completely naive and innocent. Okay. I have to take the Magicant Bat, and I have to drop something, because I have to compare it to the Ultimate Bat to even make sure it's worth it. So there we go. So I don't want to be stuck with something that is worth worse. But no, it's a lot better. I've had three Bat upgrades in real quick, rapid succession here. Here we go. All of these things. The Mr. Molecule. How about we blast him? I don't know what these things are capable of. Okay. They have flash attacks. Hopefully they're not very good at anything. Good night to you. 328 damage? Amazing. This bat was a great upgrade. Wow. The magic can't bat can. Okay, that's the only time I'll use that joke. Maybe. Dang it. Hmm. Try to kill the swoosh first. Pump is poisoned. As long as it doesn't kill us in one kiss. Yeah. 
That's why I want to kill this thing first. No! <laughs> why, Plump? Just focus. Keep your eyes on the eyes there. There we go. Oh, I thought it was going to be dead. And the flying man is toast. And Plump misses again. Kill the Electro Swish, please. What a lovely place Magicant is. The Sea of Eden. So we go into our own soul here. You suck, Plump. That's all I'm going to say. He has like a 50% chance to miss, it seems like. Another flying man died for us. It better not be in vain. Okay. Can I heal poison with beta? Yes. Great. There we go. What are you? A magic tart. I think that'll heal something like 80 psi points. Go away. You enemies up there. Slowing everything down. Apparently they were not going away. Oh great. A bombster. I think the Mr. Molecules are completely worthless. They're like a fobby. Simply there for easy experience. And I will not complain about it. About them, anyway. Plump is 64, 4 offense, 3 guts, 3 vitality, yes. Hit points by 39. Amazing. Okay. You know, this time we haven't ran into any loaded dice, have we? I don't think we have. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not sure these guys can cast a spell at all. Keep trying, though. You guys will get there someday. Finally, he was able to concentrate. That means he'll get it next time. So it's best to crush them while you can. Are we there? Is this where we're going? Some little curly tendril thing? What are you? And what is this? Strange. But somewhat welcoming, too. Oh, wonderful. The Kraken blocked our path. I'm gonna try to paralyze this thing. I don't know if it'll work. I think it will. I hope it will. Yes! Oh, really? I didn't know they had flash attacks. I know it can breathe fire on me. And ruin my day. Deal with it, Kraken. You don't scare me. This is where you can get another... Ex wow, 80,000 experience? This is where you can get another really rare item. If you grind in here. I think you can get um, Plump's rare, Plump's ultimate weapon here, which I don't intend to do, because again, it'll take something like 300 fights, or I could use save states, but I'm not going to. How's that feel, Kraken? And that is something else that I never tried as a kid. I never used paralysis because I had no faith in it. So I would actually go through these in this entire section fighting these things hand to hand without, you know, having any advantage at all, and they will just kill you. Not bad, another level. So, let's go left. What is that? What are you doing in my subconscious here? Let's fight another one of these things. Seeing how easy they are, I really should stay here and actually fight a bunch of these. But I miss my friends. I 
heck, maybe I will fight it. At least one or two more of these. 80,000 experience. How can you say no to that? See, how much do I need to even level up? A thousand for the next level? Let's see. Yeah, how did that thing get in here? The, it must be inside everybody. The desire for power. The feeling of greed, envy, lust. Control, power, all of that. That's what that represents. Maybe there are no more Krakens to fight. Come on, Krakens, I want to kill you. Apparently not. Well, here we are. I'm the evil part of your brain, Plump. You can't beat me, because you were the one who forced me into being. Plump's nightmare attacked. Great. Um, I'm going to shield myself from my own evil desires here. It's got Rebel Alpha. Let's see. I'm going to waste a whole bunch of side points here on this thing and hope that it doesn't have a psychic shield up. It might. Yeah, it does. Great. Okay. Here, try to bash it. Oh, it has Rebel Omega? It already knows that? No way. Okay. Quickly try to heal ourselves. Oh no! I did not notice that it said that we missed home. Oh no. Oh, come on. Qu this is not a time to be homesick. <laughs> not a time at all. Okay. Do need to bash this thing. Even though it has that psychic shield up, or that physical shield up. We'll tear down its shield. There we go. No. There it goes. You'll never win, evil me. Because love and happiness triumphs over everything. Okay, I'm actually going to heal myself again. Yeah, it's going to be a war of attrition here, isn't it? Oh, come on. Oh, man. That is hard hitting. <laughs> this thing just doesn't let go. Plump lost all motivation in battle. This is not the time to be homesick. We already saw our mother. Not too long ago. Maybe I should have called her while I was in here. Good lord, I'm not sure if I can win this just yet. I need another smashing attack. 600 some damage that we got however much it was come on plump quit missing okay 920 damage the damage is just getting higher every time yep and let's eat a magic tart plump suddenly thought about his mom this is ridiculous the worst time in the game so far to get homesick. Quit it, you chicken shit. You better suck it up, plump. Or you're about ready to die. Only 23 psi points? Um, crap. Why are my controls not working? There we go. Apparently my window flashed. I had a pop-up. Firefox, it looked like. Everything is going wrong in this fight. Yeah, now it's maxed out. I hope that it can... And it has a power shield? Can I paralyze this thing? Even though that won't do anything, because it can still cast Psy abilities. This is tough. Yeah, it didn't work. Um, okay. First, heal yourself with that. I'm not sure how to win this fight. Um, another magic pudding. Now. Um, 
Let's use Rebel Beta. See what that does. I'm sure it has a psychic shield up. No? It has a power shield. I guess it's a battle of the minds here. It's about ready to be a battle of the dead plump if I don't heal. Good lord, it just heals so many hit points. I'm not going to waste a bag of Dragonite. <sighs> Dick. My evil self is such a jerk. Okay. I'm trolling myself. Aha, it doesn't have enough Psy points. Well then. Looks like you should have bought some magic pudding. Yep, your days are numbered now, evil me. You were so sure of yourself. But you didn't plan for this, did ya? I don't have to worry about anything now. Ha! Huh. You're not strong enough to attack physically. It's because it's not real. This isn't the real Plump, it's the evil thoughts of Plump. We can win. We can do this. If Plump will stop missing. Come on, break it. Don't be homesick, you're about ready to kill your evil part. And there it goes. Oh, we have vanquished the darkness. 90,000 experience, nice. Level 67. Hit points by three. And we learned Flash Omega. I can't believe we did it. Plump heard a familiar voice at the center of the Sea of Eden. Gygus' goal is to destroy you. Listen to me carefully. Everything in the universe could be destroyed at the hands of Gygus. But he and his followers are also in trouble. The Apple of Enlightenment has foretold that Gygus' attempt will fail. It is because of the existence of a boy named Plump. That's me. Listen. Free your mind and know what you must do. Your destiny has already been decided. You, I, where should we go? You know deep within the reaches of your mind. S Saturn? Saturn Valley? Yes. Go to the valley where the Mr. Saturn live. You'll get something new there. Soon, Magicant will be no more. We must be quick. Plump really heard his own voice. Go to Saturn Valley. Go there now. You must. The fate of the universe depends on it. And Plump was filled with the power of Giant Step. His speed increased by five. Vitality by five. He was filled with the power of Lilliput Steps. His guts increased by five, and his luck increased by five. He was filled with the power of the Milky Well. Speed and IQ by five. The power of Magnet Hill raises his vitality and luck by five. The power of the Rainy Circle increases his guts and IQ by five. The power of the pink cloud. His speed is increased by five and guts by five. The power of Lumine Hole. Luck by five and IQ by five. And with the power of the fire spring, his speed is increased by five and his luck is increased by five. Instantly, Plump's mind cleared and he realized that he had possessed great power. At that moment, Plump's psychic powers radically expanded. He gained 200,000 experience. Amazing. Wow. That should be, what, two levels? Maybe three? Hit points went up by 142? No way! Psy points by 340? Level 69? Hit points by one? And he finally realized that he, that he had the power of teleport beta, teleport beta inside of him. That's shocking. Plump made all of the hidden powers his own, and he absorbed the power of the land into his heart, and Magicant was no more. It's still there, but we'll never be able to visit it again. Now you can wake up. Your friends are waiting for you. 
It's time to get up, Plump. It's time to face your destiny. Rise and shine. stone that Plump used to have is now gone. Uh, Plump? We thought you died. What happened? You've been unconscious for a long time. You kept saying something. Saturn Valley? What's waiting for us there? Anyway, we need to teleport. Let's get out of here. Okay. Wow. It must be an emergency if we're teleporting from there. I do what I say. Cross heart. You did good, Mr. Saturn. I think new things, difficult things from now. So what is this? I'm not sure what will happen, but I sense big time trouble ahead for you kids. I'm going to stay here for a while and help Mr. Saturn. It's important for a man to enjoy doing his duty, you know. Excellent, excellent. Everything proceeded as planned. Doctor and Donuts, Mr. Saturn, and I worked together and finally completed the phase distorter. The purpose of the device is to enable instantaneous travel through space and time. In this prototype, you can only travel to different points within the same time period. It is able, however, to search out the locations of enemies. Right now, it is indicating that the presence of enemies in the Lost World what? We just came from there. Yeah! The Mr. Saturns are incredible folk. And the Apple Kid. He is a most exceptional young man. Very different from other kids. Well, anyway. The prototype phase distorter has been stolen. Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes took Mr. Saturn captive and stole the device, that fat bastard. Zoom! Really? Oh, whiz! Well, can we use this thing? I guess we can. I didn't really want to yet, but... There we go. Um... Hmm, it doesn't work. One thing is missing. That one material cannot normally be found on the Earth. The material I'm thinking of came from a meteorite that fell when I was much younger. Have you seen a meteorite anywhere recently? Well... Not recently, really. It's been so long ago. We've come so far, but I do remember one. Eureka! That's it! With even just a piece of the meteorite, I can synthesize the material Zaxonite. I doubt that your mortal enemy Gygus or whatever will allow you to go to Onet, though, and get a piece of the meteorite. By now, Onet is in his evil hands. No! My mom and Chica are there, my sister. You must go, though, so take every possible precaution. The Mr. Saturns have introduced some of their new developments at their shop. Please check them out before you leave. I wonder what Onet is like at this point in time, though. Hmm. Well, let's go see what the Mr. Saturns are selling. How many hit points does Plump have? I guess we'll find out whenever I rest and heal up or something. Hey you, hi hi, you buy something doing doing showing showing see travel charm, great charm No, maybe it's you. Hi hi hi, you come buying? Yes, you must be the new shopkeeper, a flame pendant, rain pendant, night pendant, and piggy jelly. What is a piggy jelly? Hmm I'm curious, piggy jelly. It's one of Mr. Saturn's favorite foods. It tastes all right. When eaten, we recover about 300 hit points. That's actually pretty good. But I don't want it to take up space in my inventory. I don't want to stock up on them. I'd rather have magic pudding or something. Hmm. Um, yeah, I need more money. We're gonna buy more horns of life. Maybe. If we can squeeze through here. Wow, almost a hundred thousand dollars. Whoops. 
What could we do with a hundred thousand dollars? I need to go buy more multiple bottle rockets too. So before I end this video, we're gonna do a lot of shopping, I think. Let's take out thirty thousand. And um Actually, first off, horns of life. I'm not gonna buy any of those pendants, even though I probably should. Horn of life, yes. Plump takes some. I want everybody to have at least one or two of these again. Yes, one more for Plump. No, no. If you're gonna buy, don't buy. Zoom, something, something, something. Sorry for teasing you. Plump take that one. Now his inventory is completely filled up. Um, let's see, Snark. He's already got one horn of life. I'll leave a little bit of inventory in Snark. In Snark's backpack. Paige, she has three. No, we'll give her one more. There we go. That's it. I'm gonna have to do more inventory juggling, though, aren't I? Because... We have to go to the deep darkness. You wait three minutes, Zoom. You come here to wait three minutes? No? No. I don't think anything would happen if I waited there for three minutes. Dang it, they took my teleport spot. Okay. Next stop, the deep darkness. For some more wonderful multiple bottle rockets. Zoom. Hello, monkeys. Anything change here? I was born in this dark, creepy area. I live, grow up, and die here. That's my entire life as a monkey. Whatever it takes, monkey. Psst, hey, you. Azra needs to make some space, though, so... I'm gonna drop the big bottle rockets. Because... They don't really do as much damage as I want them to do. If I'm gonna be using bottle rockets... Uh, because the situation is quite dire. Where I want to end it as quickly as possible. The broken trumpet, horn of life. Mm, okay. Shh, don't talk too loud. I got what you need. Yes, yes. The delicious multiple bottle rockets. I'm glad we could work something out too. Don't tell anyone I'm selling these to you. These are class A firecrackers. You need a license for this stuff, kid. But money talks. If anyone else has any inventory space, I may have them carry some too. But I don't know yet. Okay, Paige has, yeah. She can carry one. That's it. Good luck to you too, pal. So, let's teleport back to Saturn Valley. And I'm gonna end the video here. And whenever we come back, after I save it, we will um, head to Onet and hope that everyone is okay. Wait, let's rest here too. Yes, take a slumber. I swear, if they've done, if Gygus has done anything to my mom, to my sister, let's call mom too. What's wrong? You sound so sad. Well, she's fine still. Are you homesick? Well, I knew there would be days like this. It must make you feel better listening to your mom's sweet voice. I do feel better. Yep, get back to ironing then. Good, we're no longer homesick. What a time to get homesick, huh? Not bad. Imagine what Snark could have done with something like 500,000 experience that we earned there throughout that whole trip. So yeah, Dad, we're gonna, I guess, take a break too. And whenever we come back, we will save Onet from the evil of Gygus.